Hey guys, Lotus Tech here, back again with another video. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to overclock your Nintendo Switch and how to install Tesla Menu. With Tesla Menu, some things you can do with it is install cheats into your games. And a lot of you guys wanted to know how to install cheats. So to install cheats, it's with Tesla Menu, but I'll make a separate video soon showing how to install the cheats with Tesla Menu. But today, I'll be showing you how to overclock your Switch so you can get even more performance on your nintendo switch so what you want to do is you want to have some way to get to your sd card you want to be able to join the discord server because all the links are going to be there because i can't post the links on my youtube channel otherwise it might get taken down but what you would want to do is if you don't want to take out your sd card and deal with all that what you would want to do is you want to go into the homebrew menu which for me is the Wii button over here and a lot of you guys have been asking for this theme too and what the theme is, it's in my Discord server, it's under themes. And that's where you get all these themes that you see in my YouTube videos. But back to the video. So to install this, if you're not taking out your SD card, you're gonna hit the Wii menu. And then what you wanna do from here is you wanna go on to the end. For me, we're gonna be installing this thing called SysClark Manager. And this is how you're gonna overclock your games. But I'll be showing you how to install this too. So we're gonna go into the USB file transfer. We're gonna open this. And once you're over here, what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna get your USB-C cable and connect it to your computer. And I'm gonna plug this into my Nintendo Switch and you're gonna hear it connect in just a second. As you hear, it just connected. And from here, let's go to the computer and I'll show you what to do. All right, so now that we're on the computer, you want to go to these links right here and to get these links you want to go join the discord server you can join it by going to discoverable servers and search lotus tech or you can just go click the link in the description and join it from there once you're in the discord server what you want to do is you want to scroll down until you get to switch links and it should be right here under switch links when you're over here you'll see right here scroll under tesla menu slash overclocking video links and these are all the links posted from here you want to go over here and you want to download for the NX FPS, you want to download this one right here. You want to download this one for Salty. For 1.0.3, you want to download this. For this one, you just want to download OVO. And just the best way to find out which one to download, just click the one that has a cube right here or that says zip. But all the time, it's going to be the one that has this little cube symbol right here. And you just want to download all the ones that have a cube. Because as you can see, each one we're downloading all has a cube. And that's the file that you want to download. Once you do that, you want to go to your file explorer right here. Now on your file explorer right here, you're going to see that all these things are zipped. Except the overlay OVL right here. So you want to extract all these and you're going to get all these folders right here. From here what you want to do is you want to right click Nintendo Switch. And you want to open it in a new window. So I have mine right here. So let me show you what to do from here. You want to open up the SD card. And then from here, we're going to start with NX FPS. So from here, we're going to drag and drop this to the SD card. And then we're going to click the back button. Then we're going to go to Salty NX. Then we're going to select all these. And we're going to drag and drop it right here. And it's going to say yes. And you just want to press that. And same with Atmosphere. And you're going to press yes. And just the fastest way is just to do all for the current items. And we're going to press yes. From here, we're going to go to SysClark. And we're going to open this and you want to copy all this right here and you just want to drag and drop it here and we're going to press do all for current items and we're going to press yes from there what you want to do is you want to go to tesla menu files 2023 we're going to click this we're going to just click switch and we're going to put it here and we're going to press yes yes and do all for current items and copy and replace from here, the last thing we want to do is do this one, but you can't just drag and drop it like we did for the rest. So to drag and drop this status monitor overlay, what you want to do is you want to go into switch. So we're going to find the switch folder over here. So let me make this a little bigger so we can see. And here it is switch. We're going to open this. And then from here, we're going to go in overlays. And then you're going to see that we have status monitor right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to drag and drop this over here. And once you're done with this, you just want to right click this if you're on an SD card and you want to inject it. But sometimes you won't be able to eject it. So you just want to wait for a few seconds just to make sure that everything has gotten downloaded. And once you're done with that, we'll go back on Nintendo Switch and I'll show you how to eject it if we're doing that and what to do from there. Now that it's installed, we're going to go to the homebrew menu. You should notice that if we go all the way here, 
to SysClark, you can see that it's been installed. So we're gonna launch it. And as you can see, we have the whole menu open over here. We're gonna go to application profiles. And as you can see, we have all these games right here. For example, if we click on one, two switch, we can change the frequencies, overclock it, and just do whatever we want to it. Basically, you can overclock it this way and it's pretty cool. And as you can see, you have all this stuff. You can even overclock the charger stuff, all this stuff. And this is your cheat sheet. Now, the cheat sheet, I'll show you how to get to that in just a second, but I'll show you how to install cheats in a different video. So this is what this Clark Manager is. And you can basically just overclock your switch this way. You also have your advanced settings where you can just have it always running like this. And that's pretty cool. Now to get to the test of menu, you wanna press your L button right here, your D-pad and this at the same time. And as you can see, we're over here. So what we downloaded is status monitor. So if we click this, you're gonna see we have an FPS counter graphs and all this other stuff. And this just shows some important information for your Nintendo Switch if you're playing a game and you just wanna see how much FPS you're getting. Some other stuff that we installed is Sys Clark. So we can press this and as you can see, this is also how you can enable it and disable it. So you can see we have this and we can edit it and we can also overclock it like this instead of going to the menu over here, which is pretty cool. Um, as you can see, we can just overclock it right now. And you see, these are your chargers, USB chargers. You can overclock it. So at whenever it's plugged in on different settings, it'll recognize it and it'll run that way. So this is some pretty cool things. You can play music on this. Edison is where you get your cheats. So if we install Edison, which I installed it previously, but if we have Edison installed, as you can see, you have your cheats menu over here. And I'll make a video soon about how to install cheats on your Nintendo Switch for your games. But it's gonna be kind of hard to do it because a lot of the cheats come from Tinfall. And as you guys know, Pixel Shop is down, but don't worry, another shop is coming soon, which I'll be doing another video on shortly. Now, if you guys do need any help with this, please let me know. And like I said, it's hard to get help through the comments. The best way to get help is by joining the Discord server and creating a ticket or going to Switch support. And you can get help from our amazing mod team thanks for watching guys and i hope this helped